In this video, we'll be demonstrating the steps involved when doffing biological PPE for Ebola patient care, as used by the Nebraska Biocontainment Patient Care Unit. A doffing partner should verbally cue and support the doffing process. The doffing partner wears the same level of personal protective equipment as the doffer. The doffing space is prepared outside the hospital room by placing a doffing pad on the floor just outside the patient room door. A trash receptacle should also be next to the doffing pad. The doffing partner has hand sanitizer, patient care gloves, bleach wipes, and standard masks available. The doffing partner pays special attention to their own hand hygiene as they help with the doffing process. You will need the following equipment. Bleach wipes, a doffing pad, which is essentially a large fluid repellent fabric or plastic drape, a trash receptacle, an autoclave or biohazard bag, standard patient care gloves, standard patient care mask, and hand sanitizing gel. The first step in the doffing process is to bleach wipe the long cuff purple nitrile gloves before opening the door to exit the patient room. Step out of the room onto the doffing pad, staying on the half of the pad closest to the patient door. Remove the tape from the cuffs of the purple gloves gently and discard it. The tape should be placed gently in the trash. With the tape removed, remove the long cuff purple nitrile gloves using glove in glove technique. Gently place the gloves in the trash. If the inner standard patient care gloves are accidentally removed during the doffing of the nitrile gloves, additional clean gloves are available from the doffing partner. The doffing partner then unties the gown at the waist. And then at the neck. The doffing partner then rolls the shoulders of the gown forward. The doffer begins gently rolling the gown into a ball. Keep clean gown sleeves over your gloved hands as much as possible to prevent contamination of the gloved fingers as you gather the gown, keeping the soiled surfaces to the inside, rolling it up gently. When the gown is fully balled up, gently place it in the trash. The doffing partner then unties the boot covers. They will roll the soiled side in as they remove them. Guiding them gently over the heel and then the toe. Once the first boot cover has been removed, gently place it in the trash. With the first boot cover removed, the healthcare professional should place that foot into the clean half of the doffing pad. The doffing partner can then remove the second boot cover. The cover should be rolled down and removed at the heel first and then from the toe.
The second boot cover can then be gently placed in the trash. The doffer can then move their other foot into the clean half of the doffing pad. They should refrain from stepping back into the soiled area from this point forward. The doffer can put a hand on the patient room door frame to assist with balance. If used, the door frame area should later be cleaned with a bleach wipe by the doffing partner. Remove the inner standard patient care gloves using glove in glove technique. The patient care gloves can then be placed gently in the trash. The doffer and doffing partner should now perform hand hygiene, but not leave the doffing pad. Before any additional PPE is removed, the doffer should apply new clean gloves provided by the doffing partner. The doffing partner should then also don a clean pair of gloves. The next item to be removed is the face shield. You should firmly hold the rear strap and pull it over the head forward, gently allowing the face shield to fall forward. The doffer should then dispose of the face shield by placing it gently in the trash. If worn, remove protective eyewear for cleaning with antimicrobial wipes by the doffing partner. The N95 respirator is the next piece of equipment to be doffed. Remove the N95 respirator by holding the lower corner of it firmly but exposing as little of your gloved hand as possible to its soiled surface. You can then remove the straps from the crown of your head and the base of your neck by slowly taking them over your head. Gently place the N95 respirator in the trash. The surgical cap should be untied by the doffing partner. It's possible that the surgical cap may shift with the respirator straps as they are removed. Remove the head cover or surgical cap with a gentle up and forward motion, touching as little of its contaminated surfaces as possible. Gently place the head cover in the trash. The doffer removes the standard patient care gloves using glove in glove technique. The doffer can then gently place the second pair of standard patient care gloves into the trash. The doffer performs hand hygiene. The doffer should then apply a standard patient care mask. The doffing partner will bleach wipe the top and bottom surfaces of your plastic footwear before it touches the clean floor. The doffer can now step off the doffing pad and onto the floor. The doffing partner can now roll the doffing pad into a ball, making sure the soiled surface is facing inwards. The doffing partner should place the rolled doffing pad gently into the trash can and then reset as necessary for the next doffing event. Finally, the doffing partner removes the patient care gloves. The doffer should then proceed to perform hand washing, removal of their clothing, and then shower. If there is a wait for showering after hand washing, identify a specific waiting area and consider application of a standard patient care mask and gloves to reduce hand to face actions. Perform post-temperature and rehydrate when safely possible.